In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this uh, geometric shape inspired certificate design. As you can see here, I've added this shape here. And at the top, you can add the certificate of appreciation proudly presented to. You can type the name here and some um, uh, subheading or subtitle here. And then you can add some detailed text. And here you can add the date and the signature. And this particular badge I have created from my last video. You can just refer that one so and one more image i have added here you can see some lines here some background line that is also image which i have downloaded from the net and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the slide size to A4. For that, go to Design, Slide Size, select Custom Slide Size, and from here, the drop down list, uh, select the A4 and click OK. Then I'm going to insert one rectangle. Go to Insert Shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size, shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to edit the shape by right mouse click. Go to edit points and then you can see here the four points are there so the bottom point i'm going to drag this till this here all right and then you can see here two more uh, points are there so this point i'm just going to make it somewhat like this and here this one i'm going to make it somewhat here all right so it becomes like a curve now i'm going to select this one i'm going to make it outside now so you can see here so if you want you can just drag this more down so you get more curved uh, shape like this so once this is done i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate um, this is for the future use and then i'm going to insert some image here for that right mouse click go to format shape go to fill and click on picture or texture fill and click on insert if you have the file in your local PC, you can select from the file or uh, if you're using the latest version of PowerPoint, you can search uh, online also. So let me just click on the online pictures and I'm just going to type. It will take some time. It requires uh, active uh, internet connection and I can just say that uh, some any any image you can just uh, type it. So example, I'll, I'll just say geometry and enter key so it gives you a different you can see here whatever the different geometric shape so i'm going to just say geometric maybe background or geometric design so see you can see here i'm going to choose this particular image or any image of your choice you can choose it so let me just select this image and click on insert and you can see here this image got inserted here and then you untick this one rotate with shape and i'm going to increase the right and the left so you can see here i'm going to increase it like this now i'm going to use this particular shape so i'm going to select this one make it somewhat transparent press ctrl d to duplicate and give some other color and then i'm going to put it like this exactly and reduce the size a little bit you can see here i can reduce further i want so i end up getting a shape something like this you can see here this one and then right mouse click edit point and i'm going to drag this inside so i i got a shape something like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and this one format merge shape you can see here i click on the subtract and the additional one again i'm going to use a rectangle draw the rectangle make it transparent you can see here like this and i'm going to cut this one all right so still i can see some line is there i'm going to drag somewhat down and then again i'm going to do it all right so i end up getting a shape something like this make it 
fully uh, this one zero percent transparency shape fill i'm going to select white now again you can just bend it like this so you can see here it looks like it is one more shape has been added like this here you can see here something like this so once this is done we need to add more details now so go to insert i'm going to select the text box and i'm going to type certificate and any good font you can choose maybe i can choose open sans or whatever and make it bold and give some spacing here increase the size and write a line and if you want you can just change the color to any color from this one so i'm going to use this particular color you can see here certificate hold the control shift key bring it down and i'm going to say of appreciation and this one i'm not going to make it bold so and reduce the size a little bit so you can see here i've got certificate of appreciation and then i'm going to add one line here from this end to this end okay and you can give any color of for this line maybe orange line and if you want you can make it somewhat less transparent also so once this is done you can add one more text where i'm going to say proudly P R O U D L Y proudly presented to. We can see here again open sans and right mouse click. And if you want, you can give some other color, gray color. Again, align it properly. And then I'm going to add the name. So I'm just going to say enter your name and this font i'm going to use vivaldi or any font of your choice you can use it and here i can use some maybe orange color increase the size you can see here and again right align and put it here okay so once this is done what you can do is you can add more detailed text at the bottom equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one you can add again right mouse click you can give maybe a gray color or this color reduce the size and this one i'm going to make it open sans so once this is done i'm going to insert text box here this place i'm going to add date center align open sans again reduce the size to maybe 11 move this side a bit towards the left go to insert shapes select the line add the line here by holding the shift key all right bring it somewhat down and then select both duplicate date by pressing ctrl d or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and here you can type your signature all right so you can see here the design is ready and if you want you can add further lines or some badge or something like this here.